vast as Vorenheim, the Grey Maze. Give somebody a floor plan and they'll GM for a day. Show them how to make 30 floor plans in 30 seconds and they'll GM forever. Need to know how to get from here to there or even if neither here nor there are listed on the map? Even if there is no map? Need a random encounter? Need an instant stats for that random encounter? Need to know why there was a random encounter? This book is designed to help you make a city happen now. In addition to details in Vorenheim, adventure locations, and player commentary from the one hit it with my ex, I hit it with my ex girls, every single surface below this jacket, including the back of the jacket, and the book covers underneath, and the inside covers have been crammed full of tools to help you build and run a city no matter what edition game you play. So, today I'm reviewing Vorenheim, the complete city kit, by Zach S. This is a rather interesting book on city adventures, and the inside cover is like a section of a city. Actually, looking at it through the screen, I can see more detail than I could see with my own eyes looking at it. That's rather interesting. Okay, so... The actual physical cover of the book has this drop chart where you can just drop a die. Drop a four-sided die on this and results could happen. And here is, it explains how you can use this to make random animals or monsters or fighters. You know, for example, you roll it and you get a fighter. And the up or down tells you the armor class, so either ascending or descending on either side here. Um, so this here or this can tell you what level he is. And the whatever number shows up on the die tells you what weapon the fighter has. See? Or you could use it to roll random thief. The up and down tells you what level, what his dexterity is. See, his dexterity. The this here tells you his level, or you could do it this way. And the number on the four side die tells you the hit points per die. Wizard works pretty simply. Guards, you can use it to roll guards. So, this is for descending or ascending armor class here of the guards. Um, this number here tells you the hit points per guard. And the number on the four side die tells you the number of guards. Uh, you can use it to random locations like an inn. How many gold pieces per night does it cost? How many beers for a gold piece? Yeah, how many gold pieces per night? How many beers per gold piece? Um, how many employees in the inn? You can do it for a room, a small room, or a medium room, or a tower. You can use it for magical attacks. So, so it's a very handy chart, and I've got the same thing on the back here. Another drop chart. You drop a four-side die on here, and depending on what you, where it falls, you, know, you look at where it falls, and this tells you on uh, this axis here is the roll to hit. Sorry. So, no, this one is the roll to hit here. Um, this is the damage if it hits. If it's a six-sider. This is the damage if it hits if it's an eight-sider. This is the body part it hits if that matters in your particular system. Um, if it's a four-sided die, you just look at the four-sided die. So that's very, very useful and handy. And in here is the key and the copy of the chart that I just showed you. So that 
Yeah, so introduction here. And there's a mythical city, which is kind of interesting, but a little bit weird for my use. So I didn't really like it that much. I think I used it as a location once in my entire since I've had it. And there are a couple of locations within the city which I have not used. Because again, they're kind of weird. There's a map. I'll show you the map. A little three dimensional map. It's of a zoo. That's one of the locations. Here's another map. That's a library. And here's um, player commentaries. So when they're producing this, here's a typical tower in this weird city which has high stuff and how you can use random letters to turn them into streets. That's how we did that. And so here's some urban crawl rules that help you run a city easily, how to help you map a city really quickly, easily, how a floor plan shortcut. This is where the stuff gets really useful for doing cities. Searching libraries. What do you find if you look through the library? Uh, notes on city adventures. So table explanations. Uh, some random aristocrats. Yeah, you roll a hundred sided die. You could roll it once and just read across. Or you could roll it multiple times and mix up the names and... What's special about them? Do they worship Groan, the god of despair? Are they asexual? Do they bathe in the liquefied bone of young maidens? Here are some books that you might find if you're doing a random search of a library. Some city NPCs. And just like with the other chart, you roll a d100 and you could roll it once and read across, or you could roll it randomly more than once and use one entry from each column. So you could have Nina L, who is non-human, is a first-level fighter and hilarious. If the PC sends up with a fight with the NPC, the NPC takes part on either side. She will make quips. Uh, roll will save or under wisdom to avoid laughing uncontrollably for 1d4 rounds. Or it could be a proud, hungry for glory, an inept person. Uh, here's some sh random shopkeepers or contacts. And connections between NPCs. Here are some encounters that you might find in the city. Uh, some fortunes. If you go see a fortune teller, here's some random fortunes. Here's an I Search the Body chart, which I think was a new thing when this book was first published. Uh, some legal situations. You know, different ways of doing trials, like trial by swine, where the people believe the pigs are honest animals. So seven pigs are tied to the defendant by 10-foot ropes. The defendant must go about his business away for 12 days. If the defendant cuts the ropes, leaves the city or goes man he's guilty so. <laughs> uh, here's some random magic effects some taverns and games that take place in taverns like for example the bleak queen has they like to play large chess but it's expensive the cruelest barons in Vornheim come here to hatch their schemes another picture of the weird towers and here's even this conversion thing for some of the NPCs and location monsters in case you use 
a Wizards of the Coast variation of the game or Pathfinder. Now here is a drop chart where you can just drop a die and you get a random location within the city or you could roll randomly on a D100 and get a random location with lots of detail. So that is Bornheim. Bornheim, the complete city kit, as I said, published by the Lamentations of the Flame Princess, but it was written by Zach S., also known as Zach Smith and Zach Sabbath. And he has broken, or Lamentations has broken ties with him. So any copies of this that they still have in stock are the last copies in the whole world. I find this a highly useful thing, but I can't use it anymore because my players don't want to be associated with Zach. And so that means I can't use any of his stuff. Which is a shame because some of those, the random tables are pretty useful. 